Hey dolls and friends, welcome back and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you're new here, my name is Amber Michonne and I do weekly DIYs using majority of a Dollar Tree or other affordable items. But if you're not new, hey doll, hey. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys some more spring DIYs. I love how they all turned out and I hope you do enjoy it too. Also, this video is part of a collaboration with some of my sweet friends here on YouTube. I will have the link to the playlist in my description box below so you can get tons of spring decor inspiration. If you've been around for a while, you know that I do a collab with these ladies every single month and Liana DIY is the host and she always invites new guests to join our collabs. And yeah, give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you're new, enjoy what you see, but also love all things home decor DIY on a budget. I would also appreciate if you would consider subscribing and hitting the bell right next to it so you're notified every time that I upload. All right, dolls, let's go ahead and jump right in. For the first DIY, I am taking this large cloche that I got from Target's Dollar Spot a while ago. It was $5 and I'm just going to paint this using my <laughs> Seriously, my husband, oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm painting this using my forest moss green color. It's acrylic paint color from Folk Art. And I just gave that um, two coats just to get that dark, deepened color. Then I'm going to take this large roll of burlap fabric that I have. And I'm just going to cut down some strips. So I originally cut down, I think it was six strips per set. And I just pretty much eyeballed the look of it. And then I'm just going to cut it in half. So each set has six strips and I cut that in half. So that leaves me 12. And I'm going to make some, some burlap carrots. I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, oh, I think I can try to do something like that. Mine don't look like the one on Pinterest, but it's close enough and I like I like the style of it. So I line them up, um, overlapping them just a tad um, going down or descending. And I ended up using six of these pieces, but I had to cut down, I think, one and a half or two uh, pieces because it was too large it was too long for my cloche so i just hot glued the flaps together and then i just rolled it over using a generous amount of hot glue to keep everything together and what i did for this the trick to this is to pinch it really tight towards the bottom and then just a little loosely at the top so it has the form and shape of what a carrot looks like and then just keep hot gluing and cutting down where you need to where those frayed edges are then i actually took the ends of where you can actually peel back peel back like uh pull back the string um for the burlap fabric so it has that better frayed edge i really like the look of that and then once i was done doing the frayed edges i then hot glued it some more and then filled it with some polyfill um, this helped it keep its shape a whole lot better you could you don't have to do that if you don't want to you can even fill it with like some craft you know paper that you may have um, like some brown craft paper that probably would work really well as too but i had the polyfill right on hand then I took this raffia that I actually cut down from a hula hoop, hula hoop, a hula skirt from the Dollar Tree. And I just randomly cut down some pieces, put that in the top of the carrot, got some jute cord, and then wrapped it around the top, not tied that off. And that's it. That's how I made my carrot. And I made three of them. This is what my bottom of my cloche looks like. And this is what I'm talking about. I had to cut down my carrots because they were too tall so i just cut down two um of those burlap pieces so just use three maybe four if you happen to do this diy and then i took some yarn that i actually got from walmart i've had this for a very long time just cut down a long string to tie my three carrots together in like that triangular form and then um, just wrapped it around a few times and then gave it a bow in the front and put it back in the cloche and that's it for this diy i really really like this i think it's super cute super farmhouse which what i love and i'm excited that i was able to come up with some really cool farmhouse easter slash spring diys and i hope you guys like this too For 
my next DIY, I'm taking this pink Easter blessing sign from Dollar Tree as well as their new hippity hoppity thing burlap end sign as well as a square dowel rod that I got from Hobby Lobby. So the first thing I did is go ahead and remove the Easter blessings um, galvanized uh, phrase from the top and I just used a flathead um, tool from the the Dollar Tree and then I took off the front of that uh, sign with the carrots and the bunny. Uh, I just took that off because I didn't want to use that. I originally wanted to use it but the Easter Blessings galvanized sign was a little bit too large for it. So I just popped that up and then I removed the burlap backing um, from the sign as well and then removed all of the staples um, that were in the sign because there were plenty of them and then I used my wood fillers so that way I didn't have those holes showing. Um, it we used to go on pink and dry brown like natural brown but now it's just all brown so yeah it still works fine once the wood filler was completely dry then i just sanded it down a bit and just wiped it down then next i'm going to take my um dowel rod my square dowel rod and mark down where i need to cut it now what i use to cut these are actually some miter shears that i got from amazon they will be linked in my amazon store in my description box below then i'm going to paint my dowel rods which will be my frame using my antique wax color i'm going to paint the sign using my moss chalk paint color from waverly and i have been really loving green for like spring easter this year i don't know i like the colorful like pink and purples but green has really been giving me a nice different pop of color so anyways, I gave the sign two coat paints of that moss color and then I took a stencil uh, like brush. It's actually like an oral swab, swab that I got from Amazon and I used some white Waverly chalk paint and just kind of dabbing on the paint on my Easter Blessings galvanized um, phrase. I really like the look of this. I like that it gives it that weathered and kind of vintage farmhousey look to it so i just went all the way around and i just gave it one coat super easy once everything was dry it was now time for me to assemble so i'm actually going to use this new gorilla super glue gel that i got from i think it was hobby lobby i'm sure you can get this at walmart as well but it's it works just the same as the super glue gel from original super glue at um, dollar tree but this one dries a lot faster in my opinion um, it's easier to handle with the bottle um, as well and it's much easier for the control of it to come out because those little ones from the dollar tree they are great and you know it's a dollar 25 it was better when they were just a dollar but the control of them the the solution coming out you couldn't control it it just kept spilling out um so although i love the super glue gel there i have been on the hunt for other bottles a few of you have given me some suggestions with ones that have like a brush on the end of it so i'm definitely going to look into that but after i place everything down and you can see here i had to cut down using my miter shears one of the pieces of the dowel rods so that is the tool that i use to cut down these dowel rods to size so once my border is on there, I'm going to use that same super glue gel and place it on my Easter Blessings galvanized word and put that in the middle. In the end, I did have to use some hot glue um, to put this galvanized word or phrase down. So yeah, you'll probably have to use that. But I love how this turned out. It's super simple, really pretty, and yeah, I really like it. So as I stated before, this is a collaboration hosted by my friend Liana over at Liana DIY. Check out the playlist in my description box below. We have a few guests this month and I know you guys are going to love all of this inspiration. So make sure you don't miss out. All right, so the next DIY, I'm going to use these carrot and egg ornaments. In the end, I did not use the egg ornaments, but I found this sign at the Dollar Tree. They have three different styles, and I bought another one of these styles because I like the way that it looks. But I wanted to use this for a DIY because I like that it 
you can stand it up. It has like an easel back stand up on the on the back side of it, if I'm explaining that right. Anyways, to remove the galvanized piece of the cupcake on the front, I used my heat tool to um, heat up the glue so it could loosen up a bit. And then I just kind of kept scraping it off, then used like a baby wipe to get it off use my sanding block to get more of it off but in the end the heat tool on the sca scraper worked the best then i'm using my ink chalk paint from waverly and giving this um, sign two paint coats uh, as well as on the sides now I, as i let that dry i'm going to go ahead and take this white caramel harvest orange and green moss color and paint my carrots like i said i have my eggs here i was originally going to do those but i decided to stick with the carrots and so i use my harvest orange to paint the bottom of the carrots and then use my forest moss to uh, paint the stems of the carrots and then i use the white um, acrylic paint to give me some definition on my carrot i just kind of randomly did some streaks and then wiped it down or like kind of wiped it with my finger and i did the same thing with the stem using that caramel brown color and just putting it on the stem and then wiping it off with my finger. After that, I took my um, black sign now and I gave it two paint coats of my Waverly chalk paint in white. And if you've been around for a while, you know I like to paint my signs black first and then go over it again with my uh, paint color that I want to show. I'm actually gonna use this chalk couture uh, sign or thing that I have. I just recently signed up for chalk couture and I'm using this farm fresh um, phrase as well as this barn. And then the colors that they have is this green eucalyptus. So it matches with the whole like green theme that I got going on here. And then for the barn, I'm using this storm color. So these are all just sample packs. I'm not like a, a designer or anything. I just get the, the, the little transfer sheet every month. So yeah. I really like I, I, I'm liking Chalk Couture. I think I'm going to do a video to see, you know, if, if it's worth it, you know, based off of me having a cricket and everything. But yeah, so after the paint dries then I just pull it up and I really like that some of the paint pulled up. It just gave it a really nice farmhouse look. Then I hot glued my carrots onto the front and I did four of them. And that's it for this one. I really, really like this one. It gives me super farmhouse Easter vibes. I really like it. For my last DIY today, I'm doing my take on a wreath and I'm taking this bunny head wreath as well as some white yarn from the Dollar Tree. And then I've recently been obsessed with making pom poms. So I got these tools from Amazon. It's four different sizes and this is the second to largest size. And so all I did was just wrap it around. I know in my last video that I made pom poms, I called these rainbow lips, but I'm just going to call them arches or half circles. Somebody was like, you're not going to call it that? So touche. So just wrap it around the first half circle, then close it up and then wrap it around the second half circle. It can be as thick or as thin as you want it to be. I like mine to be a little thick. So my tip is to wrap it around until you don't see the color on that half circle on the top of it, if that makes any sense. Then after that, just cut it off and then cut it down the center of those half circles. If you have scissors small enough, like these detail scissors, you'll be able to get the scissors through there. Then take another piece of yarn and then tie it in between both of those half circles. I like to double tie mine. Open the half circles up and then pull it apart and then trim down any excess yarn that's just sticking up that make it just make it even give it a nice trim job and that's it super super cute right so i'm just going to take the rest of my yarn and make all of my pom-poms and i have two different colors here and i just really love the way that they look next i'm going to take some burlap fabric that i just have a bunch on hand and i decide to go ahead and glue that on to my ears to make my burlap ears I think this is so cute, such a genius idea. Number one, I have not seen anybody use this bunny wreath head 
doing pom-poms or this kind of burlap thing. Everybody kind of does it where they do the yarn or the rope and those are super cute. They're really adorable and they some of them look really high end and some of them are just so fun looking but I just wanted to do something a little different and I had not seen anybody do anything like this. It might be a little busy for some but I really like it. So I just hot glued it down and then cut it down to size. Then I'm just going to assemble all of my palm poms I originally was going to alternate the colors that I have so I have like this white color then I have this cream color but I didn't have enough white pom-poms to go around my ears so I had to change up my plan just a little bit and just do my white ears and then my cream bunny head and I thought that that was a good compromise <laughs> for what I had going on um, and then all I did was just hot glue it down directly onto the wire on the bottom and then the main reason I did the burlap ears is because it was easier for me to hot glue it onto the burlap, the pom-poms. But you can actually stop right here if you want to and leave the burlap ears and the pom-pom. I think that is so, so cute. But I'm extra. Y'all know me. So I had to do more. So I took an assortment of greenery and florals that I have and just started randomly placing them onto the middle of the bunny head. I have this lavender, some eucalyptus, and just various shades of greenery. Then I have uh, an assortment of roses. Um, I chose more so like the softer pink colors and then offset it with some of the bright peach colors. I really, really like how it turned out. I kind of just treated this like an, a wreath I would do and just really had fun with it and just went with it. And I use hot glue for everything to secure everything. Then for my hanger, all I did was fish through about, I think it was eight 16 millimeter beads or 20 millimeter beads, I can't remember. And just fished it through some wire jute from the Dollar Tree and hot glued it to the back and secured it with half of a craft stick. And that's it for this one. I really love this. I think it's so cute. If you choose to do this, you can omit some things. You can keep it simple. You can go all out. But I love that you can do whatever you want with this. You can do it three different ways if you choose. Let me know what you guys think. We just have to believe it. that's all I have for you today I really hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you give me a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you head down to the playlist to get more spring decor inspiration all right dolls be blessed stay safe and I will see y'all on the next one bye yes you guys sorry no boobs today no boys today I know they have not been in the videos all week right but I just you know they didn't clock in today or the other day or the day before that. They just, you know, we'll see. I don't want